Hey everybody, this is Paul. Welcome to lesson 41 in the Intermediate Algebra series. So in this tutorial I'm going to be doing another problem on uniform motion. And so here's the story problem we're going to work with today. Two cars leave the same location at the same time, but they travel in opposite directions. One car is traveling 15 kilometers per hour faster than the other. If the cars are 370 kilometers apart after traveling for two hours, how fast are the cars traveling? So in order to solve uniform motion problems, we simply need to do distance is equal to rate times time. And then we're going to draw a little bit of a diagram here. And this dot will be the starting location of our cars. And we'll say that this right here is the distance that car 1 has traveled in 2 hours. So we'll just call that D1. And then this line over here will be the distance that car 2 has traveled in 2 hours. And we'll call that D2. And then from the problem, we know that the distance the cars are apart after two hours is 370 kilometers. So the distance car one has traveled in two hours plus the distance car two has traveled is equal to 370 kilometers. So that's D1 plus D2 is equal to 370. The distance car one traveled at plus the distance car two traveled at is equal to 370 kilometers. So now we just need to realize that we can actually say that the distance car 1 has traveled at any given time is equal to the rate car 1 is traveling at multiplied by the time that car 1 has traveled at that rate. And the distance car 2 has traveled, has traveled is equal to the rate that car 2 is traveling at multiplied by the time that car 2 has traveled at that rate. So now we can just replace D1 and D2 with R1T1 and R2T2. So D1 is equal to R1T1. And we add that to D2, which is equal to R2T2. And then that equals 370, in our case, because we're dealing with a time of two hours. And like I just said, we're dealing with a time of two hours. So that means that T1 and T2, for this case, are going to be equal to 2 hours each. So we can just rewrite this as R1 times 2 hours plus R2 times 2 hours is equal to 370. So now we just need to be able to relate R1 and R2 in terms of the same variable. So we'll say that R1 is equal to x, the rate that car 1 is traveling at. And we'll say that car 2 is traveling at 15 kilometers faster than car 1. So he's going to be traveling the same rate as car 1 plus the extra 15 kilometers per hour. So now we're just going to replace R1 and R2 with these corresponding values here. R1 now becomes x. So x times 2 plus R2 is going to be x plus 15. Put that in parentheses since we want the entire quantity of R2 multiplied by the number 2 here. And that's equal to 370. So x times 2 we can just simply write as 2 times x. It's the same thing. And then we're just going to distribute this 2 into each term here. So 2 times the x is going to be equal to 2x. 2 times 15 is equal to 30, moving the plus sign down here. And then that's equal to 370. So now we're adding the x's together. 2x plus 2 more x's is a total of 4x's. Plus 30 is equal to 370. So if we subtract 30 from each side, Positive 30 and a negative 30 cancel. And 370 minus 30 is equal to 340. So 340 is equal to 4x. So we have 4x equals 340. And if we divide each side by 4, we find that x is equal to 340 divided by 4 is equal to 85. So we found the rate that car 1 is traveling at. So car 1 is traveling, since 
since R1 is the rate of car 1 and it equals x, x equals 85, the rate of car 1 is equal to 85 kilometers per hour. Now R2 is equal to x plus 15, so x plus 15. We just found that x is equal to 85, and then plus 15. 85 plus 15 is equal to 100. So that would be rate 2. The, car, the rate that car 2 is traveling at is equal to 100 kilometers per hour. So that's our answers right there. Car 1 was traveling at 85 kilometers per hour, and car 2 is traveling at 100 kilometers per hour. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for some more tutorials in the Intermediate Algebra playlist, and you guys have an excellent day. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe.